Hello, my name is Jared Skeens and welcome to the Zoom Room. Today I am very excited to give an introduction to my Pure Mass One video series. It's a video series that I've made for the Cambridge AS A-Level uh, syllabus and this is specifically for the Pure Maths One uh, content. And uh, what I'd like to do, if maybe you're my student watching or maybe you're someone else just interested in the Cambridge material or this video series, I just want to explain how I break up the content. So the book that I use as a guideline is the, from the Cambridge Pure Mass one. I use it just as a guide. My students don't actually buy the book. Some of them might, but uh, I use it myself uh, just as a guideline for structuring the content. Um, here is what, what I do. The book has nine chapters. I do like the way the book organizes the material. It's a little bit better than the previous uh, series. And uh, so in my first three units, I follow exactly as the book has it, quadratics, functions, and coordinate geometry. Then the book has uh, circular measure and then trigonometry. Uh, in the old series, the circular measure was in a chapter of radians, which was part trigonometry with radians, and then the circular measure part, which was a separate unit from the, uh, the trigonometry with degrees. So, in circular measure, it can be a standalone uh, unit. It is a standalone question type in the Cambridge Pass Papers. Uh, but in the circular measure, you still have to be able to recognize basic trigonometric features such as uh, Sokotoa. And the angle measurement is always in radians. So for me, I prefer to teach the trigonometry first. Uh, at the beginning, I have an introduction to Sokotoa. Also have a video specifically to describe the difference between degrees and radians. And so what I do is I have circular measure be my last video in the trigonometric unit. Then there's series, and I'm glad I like that they've combined the binomial expansion in with the series. So this is one unit. Uh, the book has two chapters on differentiation. Differentiation and further differentiation. I just put it together in one unit and then uh, one unit on integration. So I have seven units that I cover and uh, I've made a total of 40 content videos to cover these seven uh, units and I have one introduction video, this one, and I will also make one video for the 2020 specimen paper. So since we're at a new syllabus cycle, it means that there are not currently past papers available with questions for the new syllabus content. So for all the videos, I use past paper questions, except for the new syllabus content, I take it from the specimen paper or from questions from, from the book. Uh, my videos range in time from 30 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. Most of them are between 45 minutes and one hour. I realize that that is kind of a long chunk of time. I had to make a choice. Do I try to save time and just focus on the skill of how to do, or do I take time to explain and develop concepts? I've chosen to make the videos a little bit longer, focus on concepts and uh, some thinking strategies of dealing with these uh, Cambridge question types. And uh, so what I suggest um, is that you break up these videos into 15 or 20 minute segments. I do recommend you watch an entire video in one day, but if you want to watch 15 minutes, 20 minutes, then take a break, do something for a few minutes, come back and then watch another segment that, that might be a little easier for you to stay focused through the whole video. But it is important to develop 
concepts, I think that in the long run, it will produce a higher quality uh, student. So basically my videos will cover three, three things. First of all, I try to train the mind, again, dealing with the concepts and understanding the nature of these uh, topics within these units. Then I work on training the skill, that is the mechanics of how to do the formulas. And then I walk through several examples from past papers that relate to uh, the question types that relate to these topics. So uh, that's what my videos uh, are comprised of. I also give my students a booklet. I don't have them do questions from the book. Like I said, most of my students don't buy the book. Uh, the, the book questions are good questions, but they're a little bit narrow in focus to the topic in the unit at hand. Cambridge questions in the past papers correlate units, not just content within the unit. They correlate content from different units. So I prefer to have my students correlating information from the very beginning. So I only uh, give my students uh, questions from past papers and I've split it up into year 16, 17, 18, and 19. So I generally have about four worksheets for one particular uh, major topic. And, uh, and I've uh, compiled those into a booklet for the whole Pure Maths uh, book. And then at the beginning of each unit, I have mental notes. So if you're one of my students, watching this video and preparing to enter into this video series, I strongly recommend that you follow the mental notes. It follows in order with the videos as well as with the content. Let me screen share it really quickly so that you can see what I'm talking about. Here is the, uh, here is the mental notes that I'm talking about. So Pure Mass 1, mental notes by topic. So notice the first unit is quadratics. And uh, the first section talks about uh, solving quadratic equations, first of all, by factorization. So my Pure Mass 1 quadratics, part one, the first video is on factorization, and you can put some examples in here, the different types of factoring. Then I move on in the next two videos, part 2a and part 2b, on completing the square. Actually, part 2a is a conceptual about uh, like the heuristics of understanding completing the square. And then part 2b is actually the skill and past paper questions. So uh, those cover completing the square, then move down to the quadratic formula. And also, if you're aware of the new method for solving quadratics developed by Posh and Lowe, and so I have two videos that cover that. And then moving down to reducing to a quadratic, so that's part four in the video series. Sketching quadratics, part five. And then quadratic inequalities, part six. Moving down to the discriminant and the different types of uh, different applications of the discriminant in part seven. And then moves on into the second unit functions. So. These mental notes are at the beginning of each unit within your booklet. I strongly recommend you take notes here, especially on concept things that aren't a skill that you actually write on paper. Things you need to know and remember mentally that will help you succeed in the skill part. So make sure you're taking good notes on this. So uh, that is my recommendation. You have mental notes, you have a booklet, you have the videos. So really, if someone has this complete package, you can independently uh, study the Pure Mass One syllabus uh, in a complete set and prepare yourself for the AS level Pure Mass One examination. So I'm excited about it. Uh, I will try to expand and improve uh, the video series as I go along. 
I'm kind of learning myself uh, teaching through video, but I'm excited about this series. I hope that it's very helpful to you, whether you're a student or teacher, whoever happens to be interested in this video series. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy the video series, and good luck, and I hope that it helps you to achieve a higher level uh, in your mathematics endeavors.